हेलो एवरीवन आई एम जगदीश पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर संदीप फाउंडेशन नासिक द नेम ऑफ सब्जेक्ट इज ब्रॉडबैंड कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम दिस इज यूनिट टू लाइट वेव सिस्टम्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिस वन इज लेक्चर नंबर टू इन विच सिस्टम आर्किटेक्चर एंड पॉइंट टू पॉइंट लिंक्स आई एम हैविंग ट्वेल्व इयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस स्पेशलाइजेशन इन डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन so starting with system architecture broadband access network options are access fiber copper and corex scope of access network so there are different sectors which are divided as shown in the architecture diagram here this one is long haul and regional network in which it is 100 city to city links and regional connections were made after that it comes metropolitan core or we can say metropolitan network in which it is divided into core and collector so in core it comes a thousand crores metro rings after that signal is given to the collector in collector it is 5000 aged metro rings so the, it is increased by five times after that there will be the next is given to the cell sites which are located at different areas or different sectors having 22 case central offices one 16 mm connections 170 mm switch across each lines to provide a proper interconnections which are also called as local area network or we can say local access network which are used to connect the users to the source to a destination or first user to the second user after that it is the signal is given to the premise network having 109 mm households 7 mm businesses 1 mm enterprises in which the signal is given to the end users it may be personal use or it may be professional use but depends upon the network this network architecture or system architecture the signal communication take place using broadband access network options see point to point long haul here it shows the circuit switch pstn inter net backbone mesh network redundancy here this one is a general map of the earth if you observe here these are nothing but the network backbones which are connected from far end user to the first user so in this way the network connections take place submarine systems here this is also a map of the earth in which if you observe the satellites are shown sat 2 are nothing but the satellites which are used to do the communications between the different stations and the wires which are shown by green line blue lines and orange lines are nothing but the network interconnections made from one user to another user between the broadband technologies no point to point fiber links with periodic loss compensation through a regenerators and the optical amplifier a regenerator consists of receiver followed by transmitter if you observe here here the signal is transmitted now here this one is this one is regenerator having receiver and transmitter combinedly connected together after that again there is a regenerator having receiver and transmitter combinedly together and after that there is a receiver to get the signal similarly optical amplifier are shown in figure b here it consists of transmitter the signal is given to amplifier after that amplification signal is given to another amplifier on the receiver side and the signal is given to receiver finally so in this way point to point fiber link take place this one is optical network architecture and the role of large msme or mems switches here it is transparent network and transparent switch here the signal is coming this one is optical fiber and the optical fiber used to transmit the signal to the end users after that there is a opq network and opq switch in which the signals are coming 
and here there is the electronic fiber and which is used to transmit the signal to the end users after that there is a op queue network and transparent switches in which again the signal is coming and uh, transferring to the end users through the optical fiber so here the optical fiber plays an point to point link communication device or it is plays an important role in transmitting the device from the users to the destination now here there is a wavelength division multiplexing wdm and this shows the architectures of meeting network needs such as capacity scalability and cost single wavelength tdm 40 G, gb per second after that 16 wavelength wdm 40 gb per second these are nothing but these are called as frames which are used to send the data and the below diagram there is a optical amplifier 16 fibers 48 regenerators and one optical amplifier which are used to transmit the signals from the input to the output now broadband access network options access network reference module this one is a reference module which shows how the metro networks or central offices are connected to the end users so services provided such as phone internet cable tv this one is a line which is showing this one is a line which is showing the transferring of signal from head end to cabinet that is a line between the two servers as we generally call as 1 to 50 mbps down and 1 to 50 mb 1 to 5 mbps up these are the different approaches adsl hfc ftc free space options 3g satellite fixed wire as we already seen in unit 1 and subscribers are residential apartment and businesses as shown here these are the residential apartment and businesses house in which the signal is reaching here this one is power splitting prone broadband to business homes and base station are connected here this one is the internet this one are these are the routers this one is pst and switch through which the signal is receiving this one is analog video overlap or we can say overlay and these are the central offices these are the central offices which are having this much of units it is given to the passive no electronics no power devices after that it is given to the end users such as residential or businesses phone television pcs and so on all clients receive same downstream data from old bandwidth is shared over n clients n is split typically 16s to 1 or 32s to 1 upstream channel is also shared with using a disturbed attribution protocol power splitting prones often supports analog video overlay on separate wavelength so in this way this system works now next is ftdp evolution wdm prone it is similar to the previous one only the difference is what here we are using wdn olt system in the central offices wdm mux and dmux as a passive full independent to each subscriber wdm olts handles all simultaneously are spilled to subsystems by external passive writer, routers advantages of using this one is different bit rates protocol services for each 
system easy to upgrade without affecting others good subscriber isolation very high bandwidth low cost innovative wdm technologies are the key to cost effective unlimited broadband services to the home so that's why wdm is prefer so this one is nothing but here the central offices such as pst and in internet video con content providers are connected to the router ess pi tv which are given the signal of this one are given to olt and from olt it is given to onu so it is a typical residential passive optical network using a single bidirectional fiber for all of one stop triple play services voice data and video for businesses bidirectional t1 oblique e1 and t3 services for pbx replace the unidirectional tv services to set top boxes fiber tones deeper in the network so here these are the long haul network after that it is given to i already explained you in the last slide here they have shown with the help of graph signal is given to metropolitan network metro edge metro core after that it is given to local access network we can say lan and lastly it is given to the homes residential lines after that businesses hub and in this way it continues so here we have seen how point to point link link and long haul communication take place using the optical broadband technologies thank you